What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 8.54 a.m., January 31st, 2018. We're coming to you with a brand new trading video today. Today's is, This is our first video of today. This one's going to be on Bitcoin, but before we get to it, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, upvote, re-steam if you guys are on DTube and or Steam it. And if you're not, links are down below. Definitely get on those platforms. If you're on, if you're in the cryptocurrency world, you got to be on those platforms. Also, our Facebook uh, trading group has been uh, progressing rather well. Uh, a lot of good information there, and uh, we look to continue to build that out. So uh, the link is down below there too. So feel free to uh, to join. It's no obligation. It doesn't cost anything or anything else like that. So uh, let's get right into it here with Bitcoin, kind of what happened overnight. And here we go. So <clears throat> one of the reasons why I keep up all of these lines is because you never know when they're going to come into, into effect. In other words, when are they uh, going to be useful? And right here, exactly where we are. The market fell off. Okay, I don't remember exactly where we made the last the last um, last video, but you can see here this support line right here. It busted right through. Okay, and then it stopped right here. Okay, right here we have basically three lines all converging. Three lines. You can actually almost make you can actually make a case of almost a fourth line, which I did not draw here, which would be the bottom. Of, of this right here okay so at the very least we have three lines that are converging right here this is extremely powerful it takes a lot of volume to get through it and just to show you the strength of these three lines together or three support lines together look at all this volume that came through okay and it still did not break through it all right so this is extremely telling as to you know when the market when, when when you have a lot of these uh lines coming together converging together this nexus of 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 resistance you it's extremely telling because it's a great landing point for the market on the way down obviously and so it helps you in determining where the market's going to go where it could go where it may land, where it may where it may hang out for some time. If you're looking to set up trades, if you're looking to trade some of these smaller, these smaller, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, market movements. So it's it's imperative that you draw your own charts, and I think that's kind of been a, a tone I've been been taking for the past few videos at the very least is it's imperative that you draw your own charts so you understand what these lines are okay so you understand that's the only way to go ahead and understand this um, the 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 way of 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 learning this is by drawing it's similar to the fact that sometimes in the way to study things you have to write it out you, sometimes you, some people they just can't read it most people they just can't read it they have to do exercises they have to do problems like when you learned mathematics uh, when you did your mathematics uh, in grade school or college or wherever you practice by doing problems that's the only way you really become proficient in it and it's the same exact same thing here um, so this level right here where this kind of nexus of 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 uh, support lines are is somewhere uh, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a single point but it's really like a range somewhere let's call it around um, nearly about 10,000 it's a little bit lower but it's, it's about 10,000 it's about 9,950 so this is where the market has stopped off right now now <clears throat> What does this look like? I'm thinking possibly this may be an A, B, and a C that's going to come down somewhere down around here. That would make this have, have to be five legs. If this is five legs, this first move down here looks really big. And an extended uh, one wave is pretty rare. Uh, it's, it's pretty rare. Even in the crypto markets, it's pretty rare. 
and that's what this looks like right now. That means we would have a short um, three and a short five wave if we were to land here. If we're not to land here, then this is the number one wave. Well, you know, if this is, you know, one and two, then this thing can be, can be really low. It can come really low. And then possibly this wedge may not necessarily be an actual wedge. We may be looking at something else. Another way to possibly look at it is that this is, this is one and two. And now we're on the third wave. This is three, four, and then we're going to have a fifth where we would have an extended fifth. That possibly could be a case as well. Um, I don't like that, that case as, as much. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it for right now. And the only other thing I really want to mention is a QQE indicator. And the QQE indicator, like I mentioned, I think, in a previous video on Bitcoin, kind of crossed over right about here, which is yeah, pretty good. Uh, if you, you know, if you were to use this to trade, I mean, it's, it's not so bad. Um, I don't, but it's, 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 it's uh, you know, it's, it's an input at the very least, it's a small input, but the market fell off pretty precipitously from, from, from that point, <clears throat> and now the QQE indicator seems to getting a little bit narrower. For some reason, this candle right now is looking aggressive to me. I don't know why. It just looks like it wants to, it looks like it wants to move down. So, um, the interesting thing about time on a price chart is that it changes the, the, the support lines. So, let's say this were to just move sideways. Well, then all these support lines, these next, this nexus of support lines doesn't just move over. Everything changes. Everything gaps open as far as the lines are concerned. Uh, just extend this line here and you'll see as you move through time everything starts opening up so if the market were to move sideways here it may provide a, an easier way an easier path for it to go down remember the market takes the path of least resistance the same way you know water fly, flowing down a hill takes the path of least resistance the market does the same thing so it may prove to be too difficult to get through all these resistance lines right here because remember people have been selling from from all the way back here okay it may not be a, as much sell volume right here which is kind of what we're hoping as this as this wedge continues on is that that sell volume um, you know you know shrinks up a bit you know so the, the maybe the market's path of least resistance may for it be for it to move sideways a bit maybe maybe even move up if if it really needs to move back down but it needs to move back down in the lower volume okay so uh yeah we're gonna leave it right there for right now if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below feel free to subscribe upvote resteam um upvote like i mentioned and uh yeah follow us on steam it and or dtube that would be greatly appreciated down the links are down below Speak to you guys soon and happy trading.